Hi guys, you're back with Coach Marissa from Ultimate MMA Plus. So I'm going to show you guys a full body workout you can do with some mini bands and some dumbbells. Okay, it's going to be a combo of both. Right now I have a really light mini band. Um, you can start light and then work your way up from there. Uh, you can just buy a set and they're going to have extra light, light, medium, heavy. Um, and you can kind of just gauge because it's all about having proper form and good technique uh, versus heavy resistance. We can also uh, gauge the level of weight we want to add to, but them together is going to make uh, a perfect combo. So the first thing we're going to do is a front squat. We're going to put this around our knees slightly above. Okay, It's going to make me force my knees and hips outward a little bit just to activate the outside, um, especially if you're somebody who your knees cave in when you squat. Definitely take note of that. Um, super important to watch out for. So this is just going to add a little bit extra allowing me to force those knees and hips out to wake up the outside of my legs. Okay, so front squat, I'm going to have the dumbbells in front of me, stand up nice and tall, make sure my feet are about hip width apart. Um, again, don't want this band to pull me in. You can go pretty heavy with this band. Okay, but again, we're just starting like to see how we feel. We don't want our knees to cave inward. We want to push them out the entire time when we're going down and up, so just be conscious of that. Weight is up, hips are back, my toes and heels are down. I'm gripping the ground, I'm going to sit back. Toes and heels are down, stand all the way back up. Okay, so just from the side so you can see, sit those hips back. My full foot is flat on the ground. I'm pressing my knees out, and then I'm going to stand all the way back up. Okay, so for these, all the repetitions are going to be different uh, depending on what we do. So I'm going to have all of the reps written in the description below. So now we're going to take this off. So for that, about 10 to 15, again, depending on what you have for weight and how heavy your resistance band is, but we're using both legs, so we're gonna go for about 10 to 15 of those. Next one, we're gonna have this around your forearms. Okay, you're just gonna slip this on, you're gonna grab both dumbbells. Again, start light, see how you feel. I want my shoulders back and down. I wanna feel the resistance already with my arms pressing out so that I'm starting about hip width apart. What you're gonna do is you're gonna alternate a bicep curl. So I'm keeping one arm down, keeping that tension, bringing it back. Okay, I can rotate with this or I can go hammer curl with my thumb up, but if I want to rotate, that's fine too. But I'm just keeping that tension, good posture. My back is engaged, my core is engaged. I'm keeping one dumbbell down to make this pull a little bit more significant, keeping this weight out and curling up at the bicep. Okay, since we're alternating for these, we're going to go for 20, so 10 each arm, but gauge how you feel. Okay, if you want to go up in weight, if you want a slightly heavier resistance band, but it's all about good form. You don't want any swinging with this at all. Next one, now we're gonna take this off our forearms. We're gonna put it around our legs again. So we're going upper body, lower body. You can just keep switching back and forth. You don't need any rest in between because you're alternating upper body, lower body. Next one is gonna be a bridge with our weight. But I'm gonna put this back around my thighs, above my knees, so that again, I'm forcing myself to keep those hips out, knees out. Um, we're gonna have our toes in line with our hips so they're spread out about hip width and i have this band here if you've never done bridges without weight definitely start there okay or with the band at all start there you want your rib cage down i don't want to arch for my lower back so i want to start off flat so i tuck my ribs down squeeze for my butt to lift my hips up and the whole time i'm pushing my hips out my knees out so this band stays with resistance on it i don't want to let it pull me in again and get as thick as you choose. That's what's going to force the pull there. So it's going to be harder, obviously, if you're doing heavier resistance. So we've done that without weight in the past and so we're comfortable there. Now we're going to add some weight. So this is light, just for demonstration purposes, but your glutes are pretty strong here. Again, I'm going to tuck my ribs down so my lower back is flat. I'm pushing my knees outward. Just that slight bit, lift up from my butt, not my lower back, and then come back down. Okay, so every time I'm tucking my ribs down, squeezing my butt, lifting up, I'm holding the weight here so it doesn't roll back on me. You can use a barbell, dumbbell for these, whatever works. You can hold any sort of weight at your hips, but again, this band, we're pushing those knees outward slightly, tuck those ribs down, squeeze up and lift, hold for a second or two, then we come back down. Okay, we're using both legs there, so we're doing about 10 to 15. Depends on how much weight you added, depends on how thick your resistance band is. Next one we're gonna do is for our shoulders. So this exercise is called scaption. Okay, so I'm making like a little Y. I like to refer to it as a cheerleader. Okay, so I'm here, 
I'm targeting the front and the lateral side of my shoulder by doing this motion. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of kick to it by using the band as well. This I recommend going light. I definitely recommend light dumbbells. Okay, for women, five pounds. For men, no more than 10. Okay, this is just for toning up here. And then I have this light band. I'm leading with my thumb up. I'm coming slightly outward in this Y cheerleader position, and then I come back down. So my shoulders are back and down. I'm not swinging. My core is nice and tight. I'm lifting up, so my hands are about level with my shoulders. Then I come back down. Notice how I'm leading up with my thumbs and I'm going out slightly. I'm not coming straight in front of me and I'm not going out to the side, but I'm coming in that middle angle, which is gonna target the front and the side. So again, around your forearms. Thumbs are up here, core nice and tight. Raise, lift, about shoulder width or shoulder height, and then come back down. So slightly wider than your shoulders, but we're coming up to that hand level with our shoulder and then come back down, okay? So that's our scaption. For that, depending on, again, how you're feeling with that resistance, we can go for about 10 to 15 because we're staying with lighter weight, so it should be good for you. Okay, the next one we're gonna do, you don't need the dumbbells. We're gonna work these quads. This is something that looks simple, but it's actually harder than it looks. Okay, this is gonna be wrapped around our feet. This requires a tiny bit of balance. If you feel like you can't balance at all, stand hovering next to a wall, a pole, whatever works for you. You can hold something in your hand. Okay, but I'm using my hip flexor, so I'm gonna bring up with my leg bent here. Okay, so a little bit deeper. And then I'm gonna attempt to keep my legs straight and raise up. Okay, you're not gonna get super high. So this is wrapped right around my feet, not my ankles. Again, I'm saying same side, tiny bend this leg that's down, lift up with your leg bent, and then we're going leg straight. Okay, so you're getting up as high as you can, activating that quad. Then I'm back on the same side. Like that. Now it slips up about my around my ankle a little bit more. Leg straight, so quad is activated. So sometimes doing heavy weights with squats and this, just try to move your body functionally and you realize it's actually a lot harder than you think. Okay, so for this we're just doing about, we're gonna aim for six. So again, I have a light band here and this is still challenging. Knee up, straight leg, activate that quad, try to hold it a second or two, then come back down. So I'll do six. Every time I do bent leg, straight leg, that's gonna be one. Then I would go to the other side. Bent leg, nice and controlled. It's also gonna work your balance here. And it's gonna slip down around your ankle. Straight leg, control. Comes back around my foot. Bent leg, we're still working those hip flexors. Anybody on here who does jujitsu, we definitely gotta strengthen those. Then it goes around my ankle, straight leg. Again, control, we're using that stability as well because we're balancing. Great to do these with bare feet. Um, just so that you are gripping the ground with your feet. Okay, so we are last one. We're gonna be standing on it with one foot. I'm gonna grab one dumbbell. You're gonna be holding the band and the dumbbell. So it's gonna be in my opposite hand. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is if you've done a Romanian deadlift, so if you've never done um, anything at all, there's balance required with this. Maybe I put the weight down grabbing the band. There's a tiny bend in my knee. So first thing, I'm in this position where my back is flat, my foot is kicked up, okay, nice and tight here. I'm gonna row, so I bring my elbow nice and tight to my rib cage. I straighten my arm out, and then I'm letting my hamstring pull me back up, okay? So one row to a deadlift, okay? So holding this band, I'm gonna hinge back down. So again, if you need to hold something, have something uh, to make you feel secure, a wall next to you on the on this side that you're down, that works too, okay, but it's gonna require some balance. So tiny bend in my knee, this hinge position, keeping our back straight. So we're rowing, keeping our back nice and flat. Hinge position to stand up. I'm trying not to touch that foot if I don't have to, but if you absolutely have to, that's totally fine. Okay, so then I hinge back. I maintain this position. Again, balance incorporated here. I row, I deadlift. I'm locking my hips out at the top, squeezing my butt and my hamstring. So, if we're comfortable with that, that's when we would add some weight. So try, definitely try it with the band without any weight at all, but then once we're comfortable, the weight is in my opposite hand of the foot that's down. This leg's going back. My back is totally flat here. Do not be rounded. That's the most important part is your posture. Okay, again, it's all about technique. So hinge, tiny bend in the leg that's down. We're gonna row up first. Elbows nice and tight to my ribs. I'm squeezing my shoulder blade together. I'm extending my arm to come back down, and then I'm gonna 
strain all the way up at the top. And I come back down, row, let that arm go back, hinge back up to the top. Okay, so this is a row to our deadlift. Okay, this is a full body minivan workout, um, just using light resistance and our light dumbbells, but you gauge what you want to do, but definitely start light, see how you feel again. All the numbers are going to be different. So that row to that deadlift, we're going to go for about six to 10 um, on each side. It's going to depend on how heavy a dumbbell did you pick up, how heavy a resistance band you have. But number one thing is that form, technique, good, straight back, and being able to control it. If you're coming up and you're falling over every time, you're probably going too heavy and you need to regress, maybe drop the dumbbell totally, Go with a lighter band, see how you feel. Let's go through it one more time. So first one is gonna be our front squat. So this is above our knees. We're gonna pick up the weight. Weight is in front of us, elbows are up, core is nice and tight. Show you from the side and the front. My feet are about hip width apart. Slightly out a little bit, because I'm shoving those knees out, hips out. Sit all the way back. My toes and heels are flat on the ground. Good posture here. Okay, so the whole time I'm not letting this band pull my knees in. Looking down, straight ahead, keeping this weight up for my front squat. Okay, the next one, we're alternating our curl. So this comes around our wrists, keeping one down and one coming up. My shoulders are out, back and down. I'm gonna curl, again, I can go hammer curl here. Keep my thumb up on the top, or if you wanna rotate because that's more comfortable, go for it. And it's going to feel like more steady resistance if you do the hammer curl with your thumb up. So I'm keeping one down. I feel this in my back too because I'm activating it. Okay, I'm keeping those shoulders out, back, and down. That's our alternating bicep curl. Next one, we have our bridge. So we're laying on the ground. This is, again, above our knees here. We've got to have the extra weight. Again, if you've never done this with weight, definitely try it first without. I'm keeping this weight at my hips, okay, it's slightly below, it's on my upper thighs. So I'm gonna tuck my ribs down, my feet are hip, shoulder width apart, tuck my ribs down so I can squeeze from my butt to lift up. I'm keeping the weight here with my hand so it does not roll back at me. Every time I reset, I tuck my ribs down, squeeze my butt, I'm making sure my knees are outward with this band so they don't cave in. And then I come back down, tuck those ribs down, nice slight back, squeeze from your butt, lift up, then come back down. After that, we're taking this off. We're doing our scaption. So this is our really good shoulder exercise. Again, light weight, light weight. Keep that light weight. Women, five pounds. Guys, no more than 10. Put this around your forearms. We're leading with our thumb out. Shoulder height, slightly above. Then come back down. Core is nice and tight. I'm not leaning back. Okay, these are little muscles. We're targeting little muscles. So we're not going crazy heavy. And I have a light resistance band here just to add a little bit extra in the equation. Raise up, shoulder height, come back down. That's our scaption. Last two things. Next one's our quads and our hip flexors. And then we're standing on this. It starts off kind of in the flat of my foot. This is the first one, my leg is bent. Getting those deep hip flexors here. Then it slides just down around my ankle. And then I squeeze my quad, try to lift up, control it. Back around my foot, knee bent, control. Leg straight, control. And once we do one side, then we go to the other. Bent leg, control, quad, control. Nice and easy. And then the last one, we're doing our row and our RDL. This is on one foot. I'm holding it with my opposite hand. Again, if you are uncomfortable with balancing or any aspect of this, try it without the dumbbell first. Try it with a light band. But if we are comfortable, I'm grabbing both. My opposite foot is down, that's wearing the band. So what I'm holding with this side. I'm gonna hinge down, I'm gonna row up, and then I'm going to straighten out, hinging at my hips. Then I come back down, row up, squeeze that shoulder bit together, hinge at your hips, stand all the way back up. Down, look how flat my back is. Look at I'm looking down so my neck is relaxed. Row up, my opposite hand can balance me out, and then my hamstring pulls me back up. Okay, so again, all the reps are going to be different for these. Um, if we have both legs down, it's a little bit higher, 10 to 15. But if it's a one-sided exercise, it's going to be lower reps, so about 6 to 10. We're going to gauge it depending on the weight you pick, the resistance band you pick, but definitely start light, see how you feel. Um, 
The full workout will be written in the description below. If you guys have any questions, leave me a comment. If you guys like this, give me a thumbs up so I know. If you never want to miss another workout, definitely subscribe to our channel, Ultimate MMA Plus. See you guys next time.